Why hello there, my name's Austin and I'm currently a student in a program called Ivy Way. Now for those of you that don't know, Ivy Way is an SAT oriented preparatory camp taught and led by Ivy League students. It was actually founded by an Ivy League student, Alex Chang, who is a former Harvard student. They offer a variety of courses in reading, grammar, math, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So without further ado, allow me to walk you through what it's like in a day in the life of an Ivy League student. On a normal Friday, I wake up at around 8 a.m. I get up, use the restroom, and get changed by around 8.05. I then take a second to relax and enjoy a nice herbal tea. This isn't tea. I then brush my teeth, pack my bags, and I'm out the door by 8.15. After I get off the bus, I spend some time walking to Family Mart, where I get a fan twine for breakfast, and I'm at the school entrance by 8.40. I then spend the remaining 20 minutes before class either reading a book, chatting with friends, or sitting alone quietly after realizing that I actually don't have any. Congratulations, you played yourself. Class begins at 9 a.m. when Adam arrives and begins to review our mock test with us. Anyways, my point being, Pick out the mock test and then we'll go through them. Now from the reading, because it's a lot. Hop hop. All right, grammar. I need this. You need something to combine two or four sentences. Don't focus on the score, okay? You know, parallelogram and then you use pythagoras. Or you can use the three, four, five, and then find the ratio. That also works. Does that make sense? Well, yes, but actually no. The meaning doesn't make sense. So after going over grammar and math with Adam, I quickly eat lunch and prepare to go over reading with my teacher for the second half of the day, Chelsea. Psych! Time for a vocab test, guys. What? Vocab test. Vocab test. No! God! No! God! Please, no! 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 So after taking the vocab test, we then dive in to the good stuff. I hate going over reading. And look at the graph. That increased by 3.3%. Are you bacon? If you look at option B, it says the measurement is actually very precise. That corner. <laughs> yep. It's all the way from 7. Evidence that previous like, discussions are largely speculative. So after we finish going over the reading portion of the mock test, we, then, we go over vocab. And today, I went over vocab. Alright, so let's go back to, to parsimony. You can relate that back to purse money. Purse is a female wallet. When you don't have money, that definitely means that you can't give money. That means that you're frugal, you're stingy, because you can't give away the money. Let's see what that means. Hold on. So when I look at the word partesian, I think of parmesan. You know why? Because there's parmesan. Have you guys ever had parmesan cheese balls? Well, let me ask you guys a math question then. How many sides does a sphere have? One. One side. That's correct. That's why parmesan is one-sided. What? What? That's why partesian is one-sided. <laughs> so pedantic, when you break it down, peda means children, and then I look at antic, that's yeah. like antique. Antiques are irrelevant stuff, because they're old and we are people of the future. So children read books. After having gone over vocab, we then do some reading practices. And just like that, my day is over at 5 o'clock. After school, I then go out to have some dinner with some friends. And after dinner, I then ride the subway back home. After dinner, I usually have the rest of the night to do whatever I want, be it uh, doing homework, studying Satan's favorite words, or just relaxing, or in today's case, 
filming this video. And so after I finish making this video, if my night plays out like every other night, I will take a shower, brush my teeth, and go to sleep by 11 o'clock. And there you have it. That's a day in my life as an Ivy Way student. So in conclusion, I think that Ivy Way is a really great place to make new friends, learn from really great teachers, and, well, most importantly, get better at taking SATs. And I don't, for a second, regret spending what very little summer I had learning things the Ivy Way.